Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have burned bridges with the British public after their exit from the firm, a royal expert has claimed. Royal commentator Jonathan Sacadotti reflected on the possibility of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry returning to the UK. During an interview with Express.co.uk, he highlighted the shift in perception of the royal couple over the years. He added that after the pair stepping down as senior royals and moving to America, many Britons have firmly made their mind up about the couple. He added traditional royal family fans are unlikely to change their minds either. Mr. Sacadotti said, I think it is going to be incredibly difficult for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to return to the UK. I suspect they have burnt those bridges and I can't see how traditional royal family fans will change their minds about Meghan and Harry. Mr. Sacadotti also commented on the shift in attitude towards the royal couple from their marriage to now. He said, When I was covering their engagement and wedding I remember the enormous amount of excitement and enthusiasm. I remember the excitement for that coupling and for Meghan Markle herself. I experienced this on the streets, I interviewed well-wishers, royal fans and royal watchers who were all really keen to feel like they were part of that wedding at the time. How things have changed. He added, yes Meghan and Harry have some support, maybe with a younger demographic within the UK but I think that the majority of public opinion is squarely against them. Mr. Sacadotti also highlighted how the pair have attempted to drum up interest in their endeavors with their latest New York trip. Speaking on the trip, the royal expert said the duo were on a fake royal tour or working holiday. Mr. Sacadotti speculated, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have aimed themselves at a U.S. market. Now they are not part of the working royal family it was fascinating to see them engage in that sort of fake royal tour. He continued, there is interest in them naturally. They are celebrities and they get an enormous amount of coverage and they rely on that. I don't think it is the same kind of attention though. When there is a royal tour you see streets lined with people and people wanting to see what is happening. I think they had to make do with some lower level officials meeting them and crowds that were underwhelming. Speculation over the Sussexes return to the UK is rife as tensions between the couple and the royal family remains high, it's claimed. Harry could return at the end of this year to lead planning for the military veterans and Victor's Games in Holland. There have also been reports suggesting Harry and Meghan could christen their baby daughter Lilibet in the UK. In July, a source told the Daily Mail, Harry told several people that they want to have Lily christened in Windsor, just like her brother. They are happy to wait until circumstances allow. But other reports have claimed the ceremony will instead take place in California. When the Sussexes do eventually return to the UK, Russell Myers, the Daily Mirror's royal editor, has predicted they won't receive a warm welcome. The journalist also believes Harry and Meghan won't be in a rush to come back soon. Pot Save the Queen is hosted by Anne Gripper, alongside Mr. Myers. Mr. Myers told the podcast, I don't think there has been any real push to come over, tensions are still very high in that sphere of things. Certainly the Oprah Winfrey interview seems to be fresh in the memory for a lot of people, so whether they would be welcomed back with open arms to sit around the Christmas table, I wouldn't bet on that at the moment. The royals are certainly at the moment trying to put their attention towards getting back to work over the next week or so, and we are going to see a lot of activity as all the children are back.